So Amanda, come on over here, huddle up here with me. I wanted to share this scripture with you as Amanda comes to be baptized. Um, God says in Zephaniah 3, 17, the Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. He will, in his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but he will rejoice over you with singing. And that's the incredible God that we serve, Amanda. And because of your radical repentance, because of how you're putting God as your number one relationship, how you're denying yourself, how you are changing anything you need to change to make God and his kingdom your treasure, you are ready to be baptized today. So I couldn't be more proud of you. I'm excited to see how God is going to continue to use you. I'm so grateful that your precious mother is here in the audience to witness this miracle. And you've done an amazing job raising an incredible young woman. And I would like to give these three ladies a sh time to share briefly what this lovely lady means to them. And they're all wearing their V <laughs> Let There Be Light t-shirts. Isn't that coordinated? <laughs> okay, cool. So I wasn't expecting to share, but um, just definitely one thing that I love about you that I was reading this morning and reminded me of you. Um, in Isaiah 55, verse 6, it says, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on them. And to our God, for he will freely pardon. And so I thought of the scripture about you because I just saw like, even like when we were talking and you would talk about, you know, I've been seeking God and I've been going after God and you literally took God when he came near to you, you know, and you took him and you took the challenges and everything that was given to you and you were like, okay, God, like I'm going to fight it because I'm going to fight it with you. And so I'm so like, I, I feel very privileged to be in your studies. I feel very privileged to even know who you are. Um, I'm so excited for like what we're going to do in the kingdom together because I just see how much you've given up for God already without like being a, like being a baptized disciple yet. And so being baptized, I know you're going to do so many amazing, great things. We're going to fight together. We're going to love each other. We're going to love other people. And so I can't wait to see you. Be my sister. <laughs> Um, hey. <laughs> um, well, Amanda, I want to say I like I love you a lot, and um, you knowing you has been like such a privilege because I realize like the more you walk with God, you get hit a lot more, right? So when you actually find someone who actually is like open and actually wants to see God, it's like you forget you. It's, I don't know. I feel like God is just like man, like keep going, you know? And you help inspire and so that faith in me again, and um, just literally even I, I want to share like her discipleship study. I was like, this girl going to say no. I don't even want to ask her the question. I'm like, she's going to say I'm a Christian and get out of my face, lose my number. And that showed like how, how much I lack faith in God, right? And then when she actually was like, oh, yeah, I'm not a Christian. I want to be one, though. I was like, what? And then I was like, it showed me like, wow, it's not about us. It's about God because only God can make a miracle like that happen, right? Because when we put our faith in ourselves, like, obviously we think the worst, you know? So I really love you a lot. I see how much you've grown, how you went from someone who is like barely showing up or like barely coming to church to someone who's giving up everything. And you really are devoted to me. You're like, she wakes up at 2 a.m., 4 a.m. for work, and she still has her quiet times. She still prays. She comes to church. She shares her faith. She does everything God calls her to do because she loves God, and we love you as well. And the scripture that reminds me of you, it's in... Um, Matthew 13, 44 to 46, it's the amplified version. I'm going to put your name in it. No. So it says, the kingdom of heaven is like a very precious treasure hidden in a field, which Amanda found and hid again. Then in her joy, she, goes, she went and sold all she had and bought that field, securing the treasure for herself. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of the per fine pearls. And upon finding a single pearl of great value, Amanda went and sold all that she had and bought it. So I'm grateful you're going to be our sister, and I love you a lot. Amen. <laughs> So I'm going to share a scripture. It's Isaiah 40, 31. It says, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on eagles. They will soar wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So this scripture reminds me of, like, your strength. Through, like, from, like, when I met you and the, the kingdom study to, like, now, it's like, wow, you've grown, your heart grown so much for God. And, like, so much, like, they said giving up your life. It's like, I want to give up my life because I know God now and I need to do that. And so I saw, like, 
um, a really like grow when you like you come to church, you come into um, everything we have. And so, yeah, and I see you're like driven and you're determined. I'm like, man, like I want to be like that because I feel like I used to be like that. I want to be like that again. And you inspire me a lot. So I love you, man. I can't wait for, to see what you're going to do in the kingdom. You're going to do amazing things because of your drive, because of your determination. And yeah, I can't wait to be, you would be my sister. Yay! <laughs> Okay. How are you feeling, Amanda? Um, I'm feeling so blessed and so just loved right now by my soon-to-be sisters, brothers, family, and God. I'm just so happy to have met. I just want to thank Shar for stopping me that one day uh, on campus, because without her, the seed would not have been planted in this dry soil that it has been. So I'm so thankful for her and for the sisters, because... They're, they're saying that they see these things uh, through me that are inspiring them, but without them, these things wouldn't have come back to me. They would, have, would not have been planted. They would not have grown. So with, what they are seeing is things that have come from them. Each one of them has planted their seed, and they've just been so fruitful towards me so that I can also be fruitful towards anyone else who I, who I encounter in my life. So I'm just thankful for them. <laughs> got two of the most important questions. <laughs> you got this, Amanda. <laughs> Do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that he died on the cross for your sins, he was resurrected on the third day, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Yes. <laughs> okay, what is your good confession? You know it. <laughs> Come on, do Lord. Lord. <laughs> Wait. Say it. Say it. <laughs> Lord is our Savior, Jesus. and Lord Jesus is our Lord. <laughs> Jesus is Lord. <laughs> Because of your good confession, we can now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All your sins have been, been forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, and you will be added to the incredible kingdom of God. I've got a home. I've got a home. I've got a crown. Tears from my eyes. Tears from my eyes. 